Hi fellow artists, this is Steven Silver and what I wanted to talk to you about today is how to um, sell your art. What do you need to do about selling that? Because I get many questions. People say, well, okay, I don't want to give away my art for free. I want to try to make a living doing this. Um, what is it that I need to do? What steps do I need to take? So I just want to just give you a couple um, of options and a couple of ideas, but the, really the main two things to think about. Number one is more important than anything, and you've heard this is marketing 101, and it's something that's not taught in schools, um, but it's all about having a goal. Okay, so you need to have, first and foremost, your goal. What is your goal? What are you trying to accomplish? What are you trying to achieve? That goal could be set for six months, a year, two years. What is it? I like to use the analogy of this. If I'm going to go on any sort of trip, okay, I may have a goal. My goal is to go to the Eiffel Tower to Paris. That's my goal. That's what I want to do. So in order to get to the Eiffel Tower in Paris, well, now I got to start planning. Okay, so that's basically as simple as the system becomes. Now that I've set this goal, what I need to do is now realize, well, now I need to start going online. I need to start researching. I need to start planning. I need to start doing all these things. And this is what is required. So now I know I can find out what days I want to go, who I'm going to meet there, what I'm going to do. But always realize and know this. Whenever you have a goal, whenever you have a destination planned, whether you're going on a road trip, and if you've been on a road trip, you know that sometimes you've got to veer off to go get food, you're going to go travel this way, you're going to go this way. Even though you go off the beaten path because you've been sidetracked for whatever reason, you want to just take a peek at something else, you still have that mindset and goal. I still have my destination where I'm going, and that's what you need to determine. What is my goal? Is my goal to be a gallery artist? Is my goal to be a studio artist? Is my goal to own my own company, to build my own brand? Is my goal to own my own greeting card line? Whatever it may be, these are the goals that you need to set for yourself. So once you do that, now you start simply doing the research and really creating the objective and finding that approach, what is required. And all of a sudden, it becomes a lot easier and things start to open up. So if you're not sure what you're doing or why you're doing your art, the first thing you need to discover for yourself is where do you see yourself? Start to envision that, what it is that you want, where do you want to be, where are you going to go? And then all of a sudden, those answers will start coming to you. That's what happens. All of a sudden, well, now I know that I want to go to Paris and I want to go to the Eiffel Tower. So now I know my options are to go on either this airline, this airline, or this airline. So you can see how, how in a sense, Using that analogy is the exact same approach to how you can start to uh, sell your art. And that's how you do it, is by understanding what it is you want to do. And then you got to start thinking about promoting yourself, okay? And many artists are afraid of the word promote. It's like, ooh, I can't promote myself. I'm an artist. Every single company that exists today... The only reason they are successful at what they do is through promotion, and that's what you do. Don't be afraid to toot your own horn. Toot your own horn. Let the world know about you. This is the exposure. This is why you're entering those competitions, and this is why you're trying to give your work away for free, because you just want the exposure. You want the world to hear about you. So toot your own horn, and that means... You know, just you, you got to get business cards made and there's you could get for the price of a McDonald's hamburger, you could get a thousand business cards printed. So it's not an excuse anymore where it used to be at one point. Oh, it's too expensive. You can get flyers made. You can get brochures made. You can go to art fairs, street fairs with scenes like that. You can uh, go to conventions. There's you know, so many different avenues. There's a licensing expo, which is the largest expo in the world for licensing where artists all their work is put onto product. You can go there for free, attend there for free. Sure, you got to find your way out there. Well, maybe you drive, maybe whatever. This is part of it too. Is like save your money, save your pennies, and but once you know what your goal is, all the doors will open. Okay, so please just keep that in mind. Create that goal, and this is what's going to be the foundation for you to start selling your art.